Hello guys, uh, this is Sean and in this video I will cover two very important things one being on how to sign in into Play Store and the other one on how to update an app through Play Store. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of background on why this is important, why signing in into Play Store or updating an app through Play Store is important. A um, lot of times uh, Droidbox users are confused uh, as to how to do different things with the box and they ask me to take remote control on the box and uh, sort that out for them. I accept the request and uh, when I take when I try to take the remote control on their box uh, my quick support and their quick support won't connect. It usually happens when their quick support app is not up to date. So I will, I will show you in this video on how you can update your quick support app by signing it into Play Store. Uh, so uh, let's begin. The first thing is to uh, the first thing is to start your box as normal. So you can already see that I have started the box and I'm right now on my home screen. Uh, if you're using a different device model or if you're using an older firmware, uh, then your home screen might be different. But the procedure that I outline here is uh, totally same. Uh, so uh, the first thing being to start your box as normal and uh, load up the home screen. So we are now on the home screen. After uh, going on the home screen, we will need to go on to the Play Store app. The Play Store app looks like a shopping bag. Right here you can see I have selected Play Store and it looks like a shopping bag. In case you don't find the Play Store app on your home screen, then definitely it will be in your apps. You can I, I can go into my apps by clicking on the circle with six dots, but maybe for you if you are using a different device model or a different um, firmware, then going into your apps might be different like clicking on my apps or clicking on apps. But for me going into my apps is with the circle with six dots and I'm using a T8S box for this video. So I'm going into my apps to show you that if you can't find Play Store on your home screen, then definitely it will be in your apps. So you can see in your apps, uh, in my apps, that there is Play Store. So I'll go back to the home screen and I will go into Play Store. Okay, right now I'm trying to go into Play Store. So I'm in my Play Store and it is showing me this screen uh, where it tells me to, uh, if you are already an existing user of Google uh, and you have a Google account, or if you don't have, then you need to click on the new one and create a new account. So uh, I do have an account, but uh, for this one, for this video, I will just assume that I don't have one and I will create a new one. So uh, I will leave the existing one, but if you have uh, an account with Google, just click on existing and sign in into your Google account. So, but for this video, I will just click on new because most of the times users I have seen um, that ask my help, I have seen that they don't have a Google account, so I will just assume that uh, we don't have a Google account and we'll go with the option of creating a new account. So I'm clicking on new now. After clicking on new, it asks me to enter my uh, uh, first name and last name. So let me enter my first name and then the last name. Okay. And after that, I can click on done here. And then it is going to ask me, it asks, it asks me to choose a username. Now, when you try to enter a username or choose a username, please make sure that it is unique. Sometimes what we do, we just enter John, but John has already been occupied by someone else. Uh, so just try to make, uh, make it unique, like adding numbers or your phone numbers or your pin codes with the name so that it is unique and has not been already chosen by someone. So for me, I will go with Shah John. 776543 okay I'm pretty sure this won't have been taken by anyone so uh, we'll just check I will click on done and Google is uh, checking the availability and it has now taken me to another screen of creating a password it has checked the username it's available so it has taken me to the next screen which is creating a password so now we will create a password so for the password I will just choose hello world one two three well, choosing a password is entirely your your wish, whatever you want. But make sure you put in some numbers also. Okay, hello world123 to make it a little bit strong. Uh, the password security I'm in. So uh, I have created the password and now I will click on done. The password should match. 
okay so it is showing me now another screen so I have created my password and uh, now it's showing me the another screen after that which is Google password recovery I will just click not now for now so I'm clicking not now then it presents me with another screen and here I will click on uh, this um, triangle like picture here which signifies next so I'm clicking on this one and it shows me finish account and uh, this screen on the screen I will choose I accept so I'm clicking on I accept and now it's showing me saving account okay now to save the account it has shown me this um, uh, this um, captcha which I need to enter here in order to save the account and this is I think the final step that we need to perform so I am E R A G U okay uh, okay so I have entered it yeah it's right I guess so I will click on done I have clicked on done now I'm trying to click on done hold on okay I clicked on done and it's saving the account now and you can see that uh, it is checking and it's saving the account these are the final steps in, in creating your Google account so this should be any minute this should be done and uh, we should be in our Play Store any moment okay it's asking to if you would like to set up a payment uh, info but we'll just click no thanks for now so I'm clicking no thanks on the bottom left corner and now it has taken us to the to the Play Store so we are now into Play Store and we can search for apps we can update apps and uh, we we can download new apps download games whatever we want so there's a search bar at the top when you go into uh, when you go into Play Store there's a search bar at the top which says Google Play if, we, if I click on it it allows me to input uh, characters in it so I can search for something so I'm just clicking on this uh, the top uh, the top search bar but in case you are unable to or for some reason to click on that you can go into apps and then click on the magnifying glass on the top right corner I'm clicking on the magnifying glass and it shows me this this search bar again so I'm just click uh, go for quick support and show you how we can update the quick support app here I have typed in quick support and then I will like, click this search uh, button in the bottom right corner uh, on the on-screen keyboard I'm clicking on this and it is searching uh, for the quick support app and it has search for quick support app and the first one which is the team viewer quick support we will need to click on support so uh, we will need to click on team viewer quick support so I will click on team viewer quick support and then after that we will need to hit uh, on update so I'm going to click on update now so I'm hitting on update now so what it will do is it will just update the app uh, in case uh, we were having issues in connecting with your box once you update this app we should not have any problems anymore in connecting with your box or taking remote control on your box so make sure you follow this video uh, properly and you hit update once you select the first one that is teamwork quick support uh, then you hit update and uh, it will install the updates it will it will take the uh, quick support on the latest version and then you can just hit open here once you open this you can see that it will display your ID and then you can you can tell the you can tell the necessary information uh, to our agent or uh, to the necessary person, and he can connect your box. I think that's it for this video, uh, and I will be back with more videos. So uh, just follow this video in order to update your Quick Support app and in order to sign in into Play Store. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye.